this video, we're going to show you how to split checks. So we've already um, opened up our check. We've already added items to it, saved it, reopened it, and added more items to it. Then printed the check and presented the check to the table. The table then notified us that uh, they um, uh, want us to split the check now. So I'm going to sign out here because I stayed signed in. So first thing you're going to do is walk up to the register. You're going to sign in using your employee number. We're just using one and employee. And you can open up the check by either select, entering in a table number on the number pad and hitting open check. Um, or you can use the list checks to see all of your open checks, which is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to hit my list check. And this check number two or table number two is what we're going to use to split. I'm going to select that check and then hit open to pull that check up. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my miscellaneous function here and you'll see we have a split check here in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and select split check and it comes up and shows me my check details here. The check in the upper left hand corner is always going to be your original check. So if I want to split this check I need to add more blank checks essentially and that's where this add button comes into play right here. I'm going to hit add and the check comes up or the system comes up and asks me what check number I want to use. You can come up with any system that works for you um, but generally what we recommend is you know just add like a, an A, a B, a C or a D or something at the end of the table. So this is table number two so for example I'm going to do 2A and I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to add another one. We'll split this a couple of different ways and this one's going to be 2B and we'll, we'll do it four ways total. So I'm going to add a, uh, another one and this is going to be 2C. So you'll see up here in the upper left hand corner I have my original check, check number two and then down here I have check 2B and check 2C. You'll see that we don't see check 2A because you can only have two um, extra checks on the, the bottom of the screen at any given time. You can use these buttons here to scroll back through if, you have, if you're splitting it more than three ways. So you see now we have 2A, 2B. If I hit that we have 2B and 2C. Now from here splitting it is really easy. All it is is a matter of selecting the item and then which check you want it to go to. So I want to take this grilled cheese and I'm going to put it on 2B. I'm going to take these mozzarella sticks, put it on 2C, put this over here and then I'm going to go back over to 2A which is still empty. Put those there and there we are. That all looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit finish and you'll see we still have our check 2 that's open. Again, this is our original guest check. So I'm all done with that. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now if I sign back in and hit my list checks, you'll see all of our guest checks. We have our 2, our 2A, a 2B, and a 2C that are now all individual checks that I can open up still add items to or pay them out all individually. If you need service or programming, give us a call at National Business Systems, 1-800-863-2274, or visit us on the web at nbsystems.com.